Hello, everybody. I am Hereticos. Welcome to Yu-Gi-Oh! Capsule Monsters Coliseum. Uh, Mirror Matches. New Game Plus, Episode 2. Today, we're going to be mirror matching Tristan Taylor. Or, better known as Yusei Fudu. In disguise. Yugi... I may not be as experienced as you when it comes to games, but, but he's you say fucking Fudo. Oh, uh, oh. <laughs> Tell you, you say was a better character. I forget what it was. Um, it was some kind of like chat debate between or about the um, like Yu-Gi-Oh characters. And this person was like, I don't like Tristan at all, or something like that. And then they're like, I'm more of a, like, they're like, I didn't like the original Yu-Gi-Oh! series, um, early episodes because of Tristan or whatever. And they're like, but my favorite, uh, episode, or my favorite series was 5Ds. And then I remember somebody replied to that, and they're like, dude. You do realize that it was the same voice actor for Tristan that plays you say, right? And then I remember their their response was, "Oh." <laughs> All right, now we manually place so we have advantage in Mothville. And now I wanna... Now how do I get to... This tile. So this time, right? Yeah, that'd be this one. Because I want to just kind of jump the barrier or jump the gate a little bit. See if I could stir up some trouble in there. So we should be able to summon everything right off the bat as well. Since we have the max a max amount of AP, and then we're using the same AP, it makes sense that we should be able to summon all of our creatures. So we won't ever have to worry about AP as long as ours is maxed and we're mirroring what they got. So that's nice. It's always a nice feeling. Yep. Which I'm not exactly good at. Oh no, he's not good at it. I don't know what he's not good at, but he's not good at it, guys. I'm looking forward to a lot of these mirror matches, especially when we get like later into the game with characters like Shoddy who uses the uh, launcher spider. Because diagonals are not my best friend. They never were. Okay. And we're just hopping along. I would say the tedious bit of actually doing this is pretty much just the wait to get there. Like, it's like the, oh, now we gotta get across the map to kick his ass. You know, it's kind of like that thing. So I do know one bad thing about this is our little friend here is gonna get poked for quite a bit of damage. 
Is he on the same tile? No, he's diagonal to me, so he'll never be able to hit me. That's good. That's super good. So we're on exact opposites. So that's actually super strange because that if like all three of our other monsters got KO'd and it was just those two left, we would actually be in a hundred percent stalemate. Damn. I take damage there. Alright! Everything went according to plan. Wow, he wanted to poke out my creature. That was his plan, he's such a cheeky boy. <laughs> Actually, what is the ratio on this 30? And look at that, we actually got a head start to be able to step into their territory. Alright, so we don't need to worry about that. So he has no choice but to zigzag one towards me. <laughs> oh shit. Well, that's interesting. That's very interesting to say, Luce. And then I won't move that other one. Okay, so I'll be parallel to that one now. Okay. So this is going a little bit differently. You always gotta love when they switch it up, eh? symbol. Alright, well, we get first lap. Uh-oh, I'm in big trouble. Yeah, you is. You big trouble. I could wipe that thing out, but getting poke on a petted moth at the cost of my kaiju might be... I mean... Getting the kaiju poked is probably um, easier than actually getting the kaiju killed, so... Let's try not getting the kaiju killed. So, the only reason we didn't move this one was just so we can move it in full fruition. Because it wouldn't make sense just to spend the turn to keep them one block apart. Or one block together. It was just kind of easier just to space them out for whole movement. Oh no. Ouchies. He slapped me. I wasn't concentrating. Big damage, I big damage. That. I don't know where that thing's going. It's going on its own mission. Is it even... I won't let you stay. Is he aligned to me? No. And he'll never be. That's good to know. Alright, well, good. safe to say that's a little, like, spot hack. And these things are just everywhere they don't need to be. So I'll move that over here just to kind of bait them out a bit. Just move this one up. And then this one. We'll move him down. And then we'll move him in. Because I get an idea that these two are going to split apart soon. Ooh. Oh, well, we're going to have a moth battle in a minute. There you go. Good job. Like, this was the kind of stalemate I thought. Like, what if both of our kaijus are alive? Like, mine just sits here. Ooh, two 
two shot. Bam. I'm gonna repay you ten times back. Mm, yep. You keep telling yourself that. You'll eventually cross my line of sight. I'll wait here all damn day. Wow. So mean. I got 50 HP. Ooh. He crossed into the danger zone. So we'll take this. Easy one. Shazam. Okay, and then we'll do this, like this, to that, like that. And then we level up our scorpion. Well, we'll give it some decent experience. And we'll level it up like that. Bam! I don't think it's actually gonna level up this time either. And then we'll just leave that thing over there. And then we zone his symbol. <laughs> because we're not going all the way back. I, I promise you we're not going all the way back. So that thing's at a standoff. It's just staring at me with a rape face. So we're just gonna let it be like that. Eventually, you're gonna have to move from one of those two spots, buddy. Otherwise, it's gonna be a bad day, LA. What you can do? You only got so much you can do, man. can do, bitch. <laughs> oh, it's coming back. Here we go. It's getting good. Just level on up my scorpion. Put you up there. And then we'll move you over here. And the kaiju don't need to do anything. Get ourselves a delicious can of tea. Oh, it didn't make it back. Whoopsie poopsies. And the symbol gave up. And that's all she wrote. Shazam. Why do you have to aim for my symbol? Because you left it open. I wonder if we should have like... Like a... Um, a game where we only use the opposite matchups too, like whatever are the they have an advantage in. So for like this one, thunder is strong against light, so we'll use like light and like wind units. You know, we'll probably do like a playthrough like that or something. I just really, I'm just really trying to make playthroughs of this game. I'm super enjoying it. I don't know about you guys, but I'm super enjoying it. Ooh, one of our mods leveled up.
cat. So we got everything we need from here. All right, and that'll be the end of this episode, too. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell icon to be notified on all future episodes. And I will see you in the next episode. Take care and peace. Tell me pretty lies. Look me in the face. Tell me that you love me, even if it's fake.